Yes, okay. Hey guys, Darkovica here, and I saw this on Jacksepticeye's channel, and I was like, you know what, that sounds like a really cool thing to do. And basically, as far as I understand it, um, this is called the Moral Machine, uh, it's from apparently MIT. Uh, what it is is designed to show what people would choose. So it's like it puts you in weird situations where you have to choose between one thing or the other. And they're kind of gray area decisions like um, this car is going to crash and kill the woman in the driver's seat or it's going to hit these group of women and kill like three of them. So you have to decide which which is like which is worse killing three of the women but saving the woman in the car because her, her brakes failed not because um, you know, she was a terrible driver, but, you know, it's kind of like one of those situations. So let's go ahead. We're going to start judging, apparently. And, uh, apparently you can also, uh, make your own choices. Okay, so here we go. So the first one, um, in this case, the self-driving car. Oh, yeah, apparently this is about, like, self-driving cars. So you have to be the self-driving car. You have to make the decision for the car, like, what it would do. In this case, the self-driving car with sudden brake failure will continue ahead and drive through a pedestrian crossing ahead. This will result in three dead criminals and one dead homeless person. Note that the affected pedestrians are abiding by the law by crossing on the green signal. So they're not doing anything wrong at the moment. Three of them are criminals and there is one homeless person, apparently. Poor homeless guy. What about this one? In this case, the self-driving car with sudden brake failure will swerve and drive through pedestrian crossing in the other lane. This will result in three dead men and one male doctor. Note that the affected pedestrians are flouting the law by crossing on the red signal. Oh, wow. This is, this is actually pretty hard. Okay, so what we have here is two situations. The guys on the left are supposed to be crossing. They are criminals and one of them is a homeless person, but they are crossing when they're supposed to cross. They're also, like, they're not doing anything wrong right now, unless, I mean, in the picture, they're kind of, like, holding money, so maybe they are doing wrong, something wrong. But, on the other hand, we have on the, on the right, three regular men and a male doctor, but all four of them are crossing when they're not supposed to be. So, this is, this is a difficult decision, because you have to decide whose life is worth more. Are the criminals who are apparently abiding by the law just this once, are they worth more than the, the the three men and the doctor who are breaking the law? Or are the three men and the doctor, are their lives worth more than one homeless guy and three criminals who are abiding by the law? So that's like a society-driven thing. I took a psychology class for general ed. Um, that's like a society-driven thing. Who do you value more? Like, we don't know anything about these people. This is a split-second split decision that this self-driving car, which it probably wouldn't know any of this. It wouldn't know that those were criminals. It would just know that the guys on the right are not supposed to be crossing and the guys on the left are. Um, who's worth more? Like, that's such a hard decision. I have to go... I, I guess I'm gonna go with... I guess I'm gonna go with the criminals. We're gonna hit the criminals. Oh, God, I feel like a horrible person. I have to decide who dies. Ugh, this is terrible. Never make me God. Uh, I'm gonna go with the criminals because... Who knows what they've done in their lives that has made them um, a criminal? Like, they could have killed people. They could have raped women. They could have done anything. They could have stolen money, as this picture indicates. They could have uh, ruined lives. They're crossing the street this once, but who knows what they could have done in their time, like, as a criminal. Whereas, you've got three regular men and a male doctor who are crossing when they're not supposed to be, so, I mean generally if they got hit it would be their fault even though there's brake failure because they are not supposed to be there which i guess that would make more sense for them to die shame on you doctor you should know better you're in the business of saving lives and you're over here getting hit by cars what's wrong with you or crossing the street when you're not supposed to oh but the homeless man oh this is so hard yeah we're gonna go with that one ah yeah uh, okay now we have to decide between these two. In this case, the self-driving car with sudden brake failure uh, will swerve and drive through a pedestrian crossing in the other lane. This will result in uh, a one dead large man, uh, and he is crossing when he's supposed to be, or one dead regular-sized man, but he is not supposed to be crossing. All right, this time I'm going for the one on the right, because in my eye, the skinny man and the fat man are 
both worth the exact same, but one of them is breaking the law and the other one isn't, so we're going for the second one. It's not against the law to be overweight. Thank you. Um, alright, here we have- Oh no! <laughs> I have to choose. Okay. In this case, the self-driving car will hit a male athlete and a female athlete, or two dogs. Oh, I have to choose the dogs because human life is worth more than, than two dogs who will only live for 14 years. Ah, that is so horrible. No, I have to, uh, why am I getting another phone call? Oh my gosh, it's like, I just answered. Ah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna ignore the phone call. All right, oh wow, I have to choose again. This is terrible. In this case, uh, we have to choose between a homeless person, a baby, a male athlete, an elderly woman, and a criminal, or three cats and two dogs. Oh god, there's a baby! I have to choose the one on the left. There's a baby! I love animals. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I freaking love animals. When I was a kid, I was convinced one of my dreams was to become a veterinarian. But, you know what? I have to choose to kill the, the, the animals because... These are lives. We don't know anything about these people, and they could live for decades. They, that's a baby and an athlete. The athlete could probably get out of the way, but we're going to have to choose killing the animals. I can't, I can't kill people. All right, let's see the description. On the left, we would have dead a woman, a male athlete, and a pregnant woman. Oh, no. Oh, not a pregnant woman. Um, One second. I need to text who, who keeps calling me. One second, I am recording. <laughs> okay. On the right, we have one woman, one male athlete, one pregnant woman, one large man, and one male executive. Oh, God. Okay, we have to choose the one. Uh, we have to choose to save the people on the right because uh, there's A, there's way more lives. So on the left, we have technically a four lives, but on the right, we have six lives, right? So. Oh god, this is horrible. I feel like I'm so cold-hearted. I'm <laughs> Oh, we're gonna choose the what we're gonna kill the people on the left because I mean no one's doing anything wrong. It's just that the people on the left, there's less. And on the people on the right, there's more people. Oh, I feel so bad. Okay. Oh wow, I already know what this is. Alright, on on the left, we would kill a homeless person. On the right, we would kill a man. Oh, I, uh, the self-driving car with sudden brake failure, this will result in one dead homeless person. So the person in the car is homeless, he's driving, he somehow has a car, I'm not gonna question that, um, and the person crossing the street. I feel like it's not, it's nobody's fault, because he didn't break his brakes, that would be ridiculous. But he is a homeless person driving a car. Maybe he has enough money, like, he owns his car and he sleeps in his car. So he's homeless, he just has a car. Okay, we're gonna assume that that's the case. Uh, faith in humanity, always optimistic. Gotta believe the best in people. So, we have to sit, we have to decide between an innocent homeless man whose brakes have failed and he's gonna hit a wall, or this, this random dude crossing the street. Uh, the, the self-driving car should... Oh my gosh, this is hard. Like, the self-driving car would obviously want to protect itself and its driver, but this would be at the cost of a person crossing the street. Oh, this is so complicated. You guys have got to try this. This is so hard. Uh, please, actually, I didn't say this in the beginning. Post what you choose and why in the comment section below. I really want to know. Um, I'm sorry I didn't ask this before. I think the questions change. I'm at 6 out of 13. I think I have to choose... Oh, I choose the guy driving, even though I, he's homeless. It's not because I think a homeless person is worth less than a man crossing the street, but the car, the car should be, even though, even, whether or not the person in the car drives, the car should be trying its very best not to hit people in the road. So it would be against its core programming in order for it to choose to kill a person in the road versus hitting something itself. So I suppose the car should always be willing to sacrifice itself owner be or driver be damned um whether or not the driver was going to live or die so for the pure sake of science the person on the in the car should die not science but for the pure sake of programming and how i think the car needs to react all right so on the left we have this woman crossing the street or on the right this female athlete Okay, so it's basically, oh wait, 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 note that the affected pedestrians are flouting the law by crossing on the red signal, 
Um, and this lady's just doing her biz. Oh, I don't actually remember if the other guy... I didn't check if the other guy was crossing the street or not. I forgot to read those little mini notes. Okay, again, I'm going to choose the car. Because even though this woman is crossing the street when she's not supposed to be, I believe that if a, if a self-driving car had to make a decision and the brakes failed, it should always avoid hitting people in the street or avoid hitting other cars. So if it had an option to hit a wall, it should. And I... I think that's just because if it had the option to hit people, that would be a lot harder to control, like, when it should hit people. So, I'm gonna go with this one. The lady in the car should die. God, that feels so awful! Alright, show the description. <sighs> what? Seriously? Oh my god. Okay, in this case, a self-driving car with sudden brake failure will kill a cat, a large man, a baby, a female executive, and a little boy. On this side, it will kill a cat. Obviously, we're gonna kill the cat. This is a no contest. We have a cat on the other side. We save one cat and kill the other. More lives in the, in the business. We're definitely going to save the other people. What should the self-driving car do? Uh, again, I mean, honestly, I'm going to end up choosing the same thing. The car should always hit the wall. So in this case, uh, they are crossing on the green signal, so they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They shouldn't die anyway. Or the elderly man and the elderly woman. Again, I'm going to choose the car for the same reasons stated before. Uh, oh, wow, this is going to be hard. We have to choose between two dead elderly men and a woman or a boy, a man, and a girl. Okay, no one is flouting the law. Everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. I have to choose the one on the left because I will always put children first. <laughs> I used to teach at elementary, uh, elementary, preschool, and middle school. Don't ask. I used to just teach all over the place. I used to teach at a high school, too. Um, not as an actual teacher, but like a... They call it... Not confiscated. I forgot the word, but they, uh, it's, it's basically like being a coach, but I taught, okay? I wasn't, I wasn't standing off to the side being a coach. I, I taught. Um, I think coach is a dumb word, but anyways. Um, right. People on the left. We're gonna choose the people on the left because I gotta put the children first. Um, oh, wow, this one has a lot of people. Alright, on this side, we have people breaking the law. So on the left, we have people breaking the law. We've got two male athletes, a male doctor, a large man, and an elderly man. On the right side, we have people not breaking the law. It looks like the same amount of people. He has five people. We have two female athletes, a female doctor. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so the right side is entirely women, and the left side is entirely men. Okay. In this situation, we have the exact same thing. They're all the same. Forget gender. We're talking about basically the difference is one side is breaking the law, one side is not. We're to kill the side breaking the law. Is this it? Yeah, wait. They are flouting the law by crossing on the red signal. Okay, we're gonna kill them. Kill them! Show the description. Alright, on this side we have a dead dog. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, I have to choose save the man. I, I'm half afraid that I've accidentally clicked the wrong one. Because like right now I was like, we have to choose the guy. And then I was like, I mean this one. <laughs> we have to save the guy. For reasons I stated- Oh yeah, see the dog is breaking the law. Dog! You should know better. You should know how to read street signs. Yeah, we gotta kill the dog. I'm sorry. I love animals, but we gotta save the guy. He's not breaking the law. Okay. Oh, this one's hard. Again, we have a side of all... Why are the men always following the law? Why aren't the women following the law? What's going on here? Sexism! Uh, Alright, we have a female doctor, two large women, and a girl. Note that the affected pedestrians are flouting the law by crossing on the red signal. And on the other side, we have a male doctor, two large men, and a boy. Oh, I have to choose this side because, again, they're equal. Like, who who cares if they are men or women? M women. The only difference here is that the side on the left is, is following the law. The side on the right is breaking the law. So, the car should hit the people breaking the law. Woo! Most saved character. <laughs> the fat guy. <laughs> Ah, most killed character is the dog. All right, saving more lives. Others um, matters a lot. Saving more lives does not matter. Oh, so I choose to save more people versus a singular. Protecting passengers. I did not save the passengers. What's? Oh, wow. E people actually are generally in the middle. So this, like, orange line right here shows where other people are. Most people, wow, I am on the extreme. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so law abiding. Oh, what does this say about me? Okay, so uh, again, saving more lives matters than sa more than saving the individual. 
Protecting the passengers matters literally not at all. I save the individuals because, again, for reasons I stated, uh, I think a couple times, um, upholding the law matters a lot. It do apparently it doesn't. It's not like a hundred percent. So that's I feel better about that. Avoiding intervention does not matter. Matters a lot. Um, I guess I avoided swerving. So I, I made the car continue going straight a lot. I didn't even think about that. Gender preference. <laughs> I chose only males. It doesn't work like that. I only chose the males because they were always following the law. Ugh. No, that's, that makes me look so... Mis what is that? No, it's not misandry. It's it's sexist. It's, um... Yeah, I think it's just misogynist. It makes me look like a misogynist. All right. Speak, besides, by the way, women can be misogynists. It's, it is possible. I think that's the right word. I could be using the wrong word. Species preference. Humans or pets? Who put humans in here? Who got away with putting humans on an MIT website? Um, species preference. I always chose the humans over the pets. I'm sorry. I love animals, but I can't. Like, in a serious situation. Not joking. Not speaking hypothetical. Like, if I was joking around, I'd be like, save the dog! Always save the dog! But in a serious situation, I would choose the people. Uh, age preference? Always saves the younger. Oh man. Everyone is so divided. Like, others are apparently all in the middle, and I'm just like, literally, oh wow, I'm in the middle. Fitness preference. Woo! Equality! Bam! Social value preference. Oh, I put doctors above criminals. I didn't do that purposely. I think it was because the doctors were always following the law. Or, there were more questions about doctors. There were less questions about, um, criminals. Would you like to help us better understand your judgment? Um, yes? Oh, please answer the following questions. From your point of view, how important was each factor in your judgment? Not at all. I, it was, it was literally about law. Fit people, not at all. Humans, I was definitely all about the humans. Avoiding intervention, I didn't care. Um, it was more about what was at stake. Saving lives, yeah, more was more important. Um, protecting passengers, not a lot because it's programming and I think the car should never hit people. The car should put aside who's in the car versus who's in the road. Upholding the law, I mean, I guess this is right. I didn't, yeah, I think that's right. I cared about upholding the law, but if like, if it was one person like following the law and 15 people breaking the law, I would choose to save the 15 people because more lives matter. Um, gender preference. I, I actually really don't care about males or females. I just, I just, what, they, they asked me more questions that involved males following the law. Sexist. Please describe any other rules here. All my questions featured males following the law. <laughs> what are your religious views? Oh god, we are- I want to avoid all of this. How willing are you to buy a self-driving car? All the way. All the way. What- to what extent do you feel you can trust machines in the future? Moderately. We have to remember that machines are actually still relatively new in the universe, in our world. Um, it's always surprising when a machine fails, like, dramatically. But it does happen, because machines are still new. Like, we haven't had them for actually all that long, if you look it up. What are your political views? I'd like to think that I am I am more progressive than I am anything else. I tend to be a little conservative, but it's just based off of the way that I was I was raised. I am more religious than I am not religious. Um not not to a particular religion, but just because I believe that religion is a good thing for a lot of people, not everyone. Um I do have a religion. Not going to get into that. Um if you are atheist, good on you. If you're not atheist, Good on you. If uh, if you found peace with your religion, good on you. If you scream at people and tell them their religion is wrong, not good on you. Anyways, to what extent do you believe that your decisions on moral machine will be used to program self self driving cars? I believe this could make a pretty big difference. To what extent do you fear that machines will become out of control? Not really. I mean, I a little bit. <laughs> Highest level of education. I have a, a bachelor degree. How old are you? 25. What is your gender? Female. Annual income. Not answering. Submit. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. All right, guys. There you go. Moral machine. How was that for you? That was pretty good, huh? 
I dug it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to post your responses in the comment section below. I actually am really interested to hear what you guys would choose out of all of this. Um, I mean, you could even, like, post uh, just what your final bit here is if you wanted to. Or you could post answers to all of the questions that you get, all of the questions that I get. I think it changes every time. I think you get different questions every single time again tell me everything tell me why you chose what you chose there is no wrong answer in these situations they are all gray areas um i will not judge you if you choose the dog every single time i will not judge you yeah it is you are good on you <laughs> like i said gray areas all right i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys very much don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and post in the comment section below i'll see you guys next time bye